composed the <coughs> music and published the song. He also composed the Bells of St. Mary's, which I know you probably all heard of that. <clears throat> his real name was Henry Walters Hopkins. He never married and lived with his parents his whole life. He died young at the age of only 46. He was also from Wales, England. You can find four short recordings of this song in the Library of Congress, Congress dated between 1901 and 1912.
I'm happy she brought me up after uh, Mr. and Mrs. Mag because this is a tip of the iceberg of what they just sang, and it was so beautiful. Amen. It's all about the resurrection. We hold so close to our hearts the cross where Jesus died, but so much more than the blood-stained cross is that Jesus came back to life. Amen. The stone's been rolled away, the tomb lay open and bare. They looked for him, and then the angel said that he's no longer here. Oh, what joy they must have felt to see him just once more, to eat with him, to drink with him, to receive him back as Lord. So much did he accomplish through his death on the cross and in his rising from the dead, he reconciled us back to God. Nothing else could bridge the gap that sin had wrenched apart. Now we can freely go to God and receive Christ in our heart. Happy
some were going to do is he could have called 10,000 angels. I'm so glad he did.
everybody. Happy Sabbath. Happy Sabbath. It's a beautiful Sabbath. It's Jesus slept in the tomb. Um, this is from the Desire of Ages. It's the last chapter, um, 87. It's entitled, To My Father and Your Father. Um, of all the things that I thought that I could do for the Easter season, um, I prayed about it, and this I was very impressed to uh, do, and if I, if I was to subtitle this, I would probably subtitle this the Hallelujah Choir. Um, I've tried to cut it down, and I've cut it as much as I can. Uh, it's a little bit of a read, but I think if you just sit back, relax, and close your eyes, put yourself there, you will uh, understand how beautiful this is. This is too beautiful for me. <clears throat> I'll just get started. Beams of light seemed to radiate from his countenance as he looked lovingly upon them. He abraded them not for their faults and failures.